This is a question that I get a lot regarding Aaron Rodgers and Giannis and the difference in how I talk about their MVPs and what it means to each individual. This is a Carl's Place voicemail, 402-915-BART. Remember to check out Carl's Place, carloft.com backslash Bart for any and all golf simulator needs. You can also check that out at the website, bartwinklershow.com. This voicemail comes from Matt in the Falls. Hey, Bart. It's me again. Um, still listening to today's episode, just piece of the time. One bite, one bite, choo, choo, choo. You know how it goes. Um, and I'm listening to you talk about Giannis' historic season and how you really think he should have more MP, MVP consideration and you'd like to be hearing more about that. Um, and then I thought about how you would tell us that um, – Aaron Rodgers' MVP awards mean absolutely nothing to you. And I'm just wondering where the disconnect is. Um, I think it's obviously we love Giannis as a person. We don't like Rodgers, so I'm not sure that has something to do with it. And probably the uh, lack of championships by Rodgers since 2011, while Giannis has put one up recently. So um, I'm just kind of wondering where, you know, where the difference is there. Um, I think MVPs are awesome for our athletes. I think they give us bragging rights. Um, you know, sitting around, sitting around the grill with the boys at the tailgate, and you're you're talking about the growth, the the growth, the goats. You got, you know, you gotta have MVP. You throw them out there. That's something you can't you can't deny. That it's an MVP. It's the peak. So I think we should want our athletes to be. Um, you know, winning MVPs, and we should want them to be successful because that makes our teams more successful even when we don't have a defensive coordinator forever. But you get the idea. Um, so, yeah, I just want to hear uh, your thoughts on um, maybe why maybe why you think so differently between Giannis and Aaron's MVPs. And I am happy to answer that, and it's about time I do. I've been asked that question a lot, and I've kind of given some answers, but also it's something I might dance around. It's hard to come up with an answer. Uh, Honestly, it's hard to come up with an answer, and so I'm going to try to actually give you a tangible one. Um, I am a guy who a lot of times I will give takes, and uh, I believe them. I believe them. I believe Jordan Love is going to be good because Aaron Rodgers wouldn't let him play. I believe that. So I think I'm right. Could be wrong, but I believe it. I believe the Denver Nuggets will not get – to the NBA Finals. Could be wrong, but I believe it. I believe I'm right. With this Rodgers MVP discussion, basically what it gets down to is I crap all over Rodgers for his MVPs, and I actively campaign for Giannis's. Why? Uh, So I'm trying to figure that out here. I'm trying to figure out why. And I can come up with a couple of reasons why. And if they're not good enough, they're not good enough. But this is how I view them as different. One I think the biggest thing, let me just start with the biggest thing. The biggest thing is how they are viewed by the two individuals or how I've been viewing how they view them. For instance, I hear Rodgers talk a lot about how he's won MVPs. I've won MVPs. I'm a four-time MVP. I won back-to-back MVPs. And he does it a lot to use in negotiation to talk himself up uh, to maybe why he should get what he thinks he deserves it seems to be a very individual award for him. And MVP is most valuable player. So yeah, it is an individual award. But what Giannis said the other day about it, I've never heard Rodgers come close to saying anything like this. I'm very proud that I am able to play at an MVP level because that means I'm making my team very successful. That's the goal. So what I perceive is that Rodgers likes MVPs because it's another award on his shelf. And why Giannis likes MVPs is it means he played at a level to make his team get an award on all of their shelves. So for better or worse, that's one of the reasons that I view it differently. Uh, A couple more. MVPs in the NBA, I think, are more important than in the NFL. I could probably go back and name you the MVP uh, 30 of the last 35 years, and I might miss one or two in the NBA. In the NFL, I, I, I mean, I know Lamar Jackson won a while ago. I think Mahomes did. Uh, maybe even this year. Uh, I'm not, I don't know as much. It just doesn't, it doesn't have the season-long discourse and the historical magnitude in the NFL that it does in the NBA. In the NFL, it's a great award. In the NBA, it's like the thing to help you distinguish, well, who are the top guys going to be when history 
looks back at this. And I think that for Giannis, every MVP that he earns is going to help him be what could be a top five player in NBA history. And I don't think Rodgers is at that level. He's, I mean, he's very, he's, I guess, close. But I don't think that we're going to – it's not going to come – it comes down to championships more in the NFL. It comes down to championships, sure, in the NBA too, but that MVP is a big qualifier. I think another thing is we're in the middle of it. So what you're hearing from me is I'm talking a lot about getting Giannis more MVPs. Rodgers, I don't believe, is going to win another MVP. And I actually think you're foolish if you think he's going to go to New York and win an MVP or wherever he's going to play. He's, his MVP years are done. I know he just won one two years ago, but I think they're done. And so when I'm arguing for Giannis, it's not just also arguing for Giannis. It's arguing against the other guys. I desperately don't want Jokic to get an MVP. It like, it means a lot to me that he doesn't because of the historical levels. I don't want him to be the guy that wins three MVPs in a row for the first time since Larry Bird in the eighties. I don't want that. And so I have a guy that I can hype up. So it means more, from that standpoint. Also, this is a little bit different and uh, I'm not sure, you know, how much of I, how much of the pie I would give this, but I think it's different that it's Milwaukee. Giannis wears Milwaukee on his chest. Rogers wears a G on his helmet, but Ro- Giannis wears Milwaukee on his chest. And so I feel like it's, it's easier for me to argue for something for Milwaukee than it is for a, uh, for green Bay with all due respect to the city by the bay, the city that never sleeps, Green Bay, Wisconsin, home of a great railroad museum that uh, really people only go to when it's hot and they need a place to go inside the air conditioning. Also home of the uh, Green Bay Booyah, I think is the current name of that team. They're changing every couple of years. Uh, Also the great UWGB campus, which is 15 miles northwest of town. Uh, You have to like, open up some marsh it's the worst college location of all the uw systems in the state anyway green bay slander aside those are some of the reasons why i differentiate the two also because with and then this is there's brett far factor rogers is doing something that i just saw someone else do and maybe that's unfair but rogers what did Favre do he won a super bowl won three mvps what did rogers do he won a super bowl won four mvps I kind of already saw that. So this is where the entitled town factor comes in. I've never seen a buck this good. There hasn't been a buck this good in 50 years. I never dreamed that the bucks would be this good. The seventies and eighties Packers. That's been the bucks my whole life. So there's that factor to it as well. Some of these are not fair in the argument. I do understand that. Some of these are not fair, but my main point and the main reason I look at them different, and it's not because I like Giannis and I don't like Rodgers, but it's because I view Rodgers thinking of the MVP as something that should inflate him and get him paid and get him accolades and get him the money he wants, where I think that Giannis views him as if I'm playing at this level, that means my team is going to win. That means I can win more championships with my team. That's where I find the main difference. And also we're still seeing it happen. You know, if if Giannis ends up winning four MVPs and only has one championship, then we're going to look back and it's going to be a very easy comparison. But us not knowing the roadmap that Giannis is going to take us on and my back-of-the-head belief that I do feel like the Bucs are going to win the championship this year, I think that, you know, that argument will be null and void afterwards. So long story short, there's plenty of reasons, but what it comes down to for me is that they mean more to uh, – Rodgers and the team means more to Giannis you can catch me saying these words into a computer screen thanks to our YouTube sponsor Dan Shaney insurance now I'm just reading right off the bottom of my YouTube crawl Dan's a local independent insurance agency and he specializes in finding the best prices for your auto home and business insurance with multiple company options in Wisconsin call 414-732-2542 or visit danshaney.com today. Dan's been a long-time listener to the show, and it's good to have him as part of the proceedings here in the uh, Bart Winkler stratosphere.